Want to train your technicians and engineers in industrial automation? We offer several specialized courses perfect for your team's development. Visit realpars.com business. Fill out the form, and our team will quickly contact you to enhance your team's skills. In this video, I will show you how to set up the servo gripper in Palette Pro. I will also show you how to set up a real robot with the servo gripper. I will tell you the options you have with these tasks. If you want to learn more about Palette Tool, Palette Pro, and robotic palletizing using FANUC robots, check out our course, FANUC Robot Training 6, Mastering Palette Patterns. Let's begin by opening Palette Pro. I will use the default of Palette Pro 3 for the sake of this video. Click Next. We will be creating a new configuration during this video. Click Next. Select your applicable software version and click Next. Select which robot family you want to open. I will be using the default of Handling Tool H552. Click Next. I will be using the default of M410IC185. Click Next. Now, here is a part that we would normally skip over if we were doing another robot setup. However, for this video, this part of the setup is critical. We need to find the Independent Axes H895 option. After we have highlighted the Independent Axes, we need to click the angle brackets next to Group 2. Now that our Group option is selected, we need to click the Next button. We need to add the option R675 Servo Tool in order to use the Servo Tool on a robot. Type 675 in the option search bar. Click the checkbox to the left of the Servo Tool R675, then click the Next button. Press Finish. Press 1 and then Enter if your servo is controlled from the main axis card. Press 2 and then Enter to add axis 1. Type 1 for standard method. Select your motor. I will be using an AI S30-4000 for this example. Type 65 and Enter for this example. Type 11 for 4000 RPM. Then click Enter. Type 12 for a 160 amp controller. Then click Enter. Type 1 for linear. Then press Enter. I will use 1 for the ratio. If you have a gearbox on the servo tool, this is where you would enter it. Press Enter. I will leave the default at 66 millimeters per second. You can change this if your application requires it. Press 2, then press Enter. Press 1, and then Enter. For my example, I will limit the servo to 1500 degrees plus and minus. Type 1500, then press Enter. Type negative 1500, then press Enter. Make sure you have a mechanical reference point to master similar to the tick marks on the robot. Type 0, then Enter. I will not change the values for the acceleration. Type 2, and then Enter. Type 2, and then Enter. Type 2, and then Enter. Type 1, and then Enter. Type in the amplifier number. Since this is a 6-axis amplifier, I can use amplifier 1. Type 1, and then Enter. Type 1, and then Enter. Type 1, and then Enter. Type 10, and then Enter. Type 4 for exit. Then press Enter. Wait until the robot boots and the simulation is ready. Click on GP1M410IC185. Then click on Tooling. Then double click on EOAT1. Click on the Palletizing tab. Click on the Gripper Type drop down. There are several gripper types to choose from. For now, we'll use the Servo Gripper. But if you want to learn about the use cases of other gripper types and how to configure them correctly, check out our courses FANUC Robot Training 6, Mastering Pallet Patterns, where we use a vacuum gripper, and FANUC Robot Training 10, Advanced Bag Palletizing, 
where we use a bag gripper. You can find the links to these courses in the description of this video. Okay, select Servo. Notice that the pop-up changes and add some new parameters under the Servo hand setting. The jaw thickness is the thickness of the plates that are used for gripping. The release margin is how wide the grippers are going to open up on the box drop. The jaw distance is the minimum closed distance of the gripper. The axis value is when the hand is closed, which is the axis value of minimum closed distance. Type 600 in both the jaw distance when closed hand and axis value when closed hand. Then type in 600 for the axis value and make sure that the direction is minus. Now click Apply and then OK. Open up the Unit Load Editor. Click on the Palletizing tab. Now click on the Gripper drop down and select Servo. Click Apply. Now let's run the cell. If you look closely, the servo grippers will open and close. Be sure that each unit will be placed correctly. You may need to change the height of the robot to adjust for reach errors. In this video, we learned how to set up a servo gripper in Pallet Pro, and I hope it helps you with your projects. We have several courses on robotics on our platform. If you want to improve your skills, make sure to check out realpars.com courses. Under Skill Paths, Filter for Robotics. If you're a plant manager looking to improve your team's robotic skills, visit realpars.com business. Just add your contact information, and our team will quickly reach out to discuss how we can support your team's development.